All right, in this final video of the series, I want to take a few minutes to summarize what we have learned. We started off by learning what is testing, what is chest and react testing library. We learned about the different types of tests and what exactly is an automated test. We set up a React project using Create React app and understood the anatomy of a test. We wrote our first test in a React app and had a glimpse of what test-driven development is. In the second section, we dove deeper into Jest. We learned about watch mode, how to filter and group tests, what is the file name convention, how to set up code coverage reports, and understood what is an assertion. In the third and fourth section, we moved on to React testing library. More specifically, queries in React testing library. We understood the different types of queries, the priority for their usage, understood the difference between get by, query by, find by, and when to use them. We also had a look at manual queries, how to debug tests, and learned about the testing playground browser extension. In the fifth section, we learned about testing user interactions. We had a look at pointer and keyboard APIs to be more precise. In the sixth section, we had a look at working with providers and writing a custom render function. We also learned how to test custom React hooks. In the seventh section, our focus was on mocking. We learned how to mock functions in our tests with Jest and how to mock HTTP requests with mock service worker. In the last section, we learned about static analysis testing. We focused on ESLint, Prettier, Husky, and LinStaged. All of them come together to improve the quality of the code you write as a team. With that, we come to the end of this series on React testing. It was one that was constantly requested, and I hope you now have a good knowledge of the fundamentals. If you would like to support the channel, or if you're generally interested in more content, please do check the description for links to support the channel or buy my paid course on preparing for a front-end interview. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.